What is up, Conscious Monkeys? Welcome back to another episode of Catch Up with Clayton. As always, I'm your host, Clayton, and I'm on the road. I forgot to mention it last week, but I'm in San Diego. Surprise, surprise. And I still absolutely, absolutely love it here. Energy, people, the vibes, everything's amazing. And I just cannot wait until that last domino has fallen where I'm actually able to live here full time. We are very close. We are very close. And you might be asking yourself, why are we really close? Well, drum roll, please. Um, last week, we actually eclipsed 100,000 followers on Instagram. So round of applause for you guys. I'm super grateful for anyone and everyone who has shared something. If you have liked something, anytime you've interacted with anything that I've done, I am super grateful that you are here. Even if you only listen to this and you're not even on IG and you just listen and you're a full-time listener, like, thank you. Like, that's so dope. And it's really, it's such a weird feeling. This idea of 100,000 people and it's 180,000 on TikTok. So 280,000 people I have access to almost immediately. Like, it's just a weird, it's hard to put into words. It's something you really got to just experience for yourself. I, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of ups and downs with it, you know, because not everybody's going to agree with you. If you're at that scale, not everybody's going to agree with what you're saying. And that's totally cool. Because the way I'm starting to view it is that if everyone's agreeing with you, then you're not adding anything new to the conversation. So it's kind of cool in a sense to have people disagree with me. It's kind of an honor in a sense, which is really bizarre, but hopefully we can always take that into a more positive, more fulfilling, more enlightened viewpoint or consciousness of humans and being a person in general. So I think that's super dope. I am super grateful for that. Thank you guys for being here. I have also started, and this is interesting. I've personally started a course for public speaking. It's mostly geared for presenting items, but I am viewing it in the light of podcasting. I want to be the best podcast interview host, whatever you want to call it. I think I've told you guys this before, but I need to be, I want to be, I desire to be the best that I possibly can be in this lifetime at podcasting. And so why not? Why would I have not taken a course in public speaking or podcasting? Something I've never done before. And so this just made sense to me to invest into myself, especially, especially if you've listened to the Akashic record reading that I did. It's a live on my IG. It's a little difficult to understand her at times, which is totally cool. But but the key point is we talked about money and how I need to actually invest in myself and spend money on me getting better at my own craft. And that's what I'm doing. I invested in this course. I've been going through it. It is super dope. And I'm excited to see how that goes. It might be like a year thing. So I'll try to keep you guys up to date with that. Also, as a side note, I don't really know how to work this into spirituality. Maybe there's something in here, but on Netflix, I just finished uh, what's called Death Note. It's an anime. It was freaking interesting as shit all about death. And, and, and I guess the reason I'm bringing it up is because death is actually something that seems to be a key aspect of where I am going in this life or in the future. I'm not sure why or what or how to explain it, but random things occur with regards to death. I mean, I find the afterlife very fascinating. There are books that talk about the afterlife that I am always very engaged in. As you could always see in my home studio, that I have the picture of Anubis, who's the god of death and mummification in Egyptian culture. And the judgment scene, which is the scene in ancient Egypt hieroglyphs where you get judged after your life if you go to heaven or hell. For some reason, death has always fascinated me, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly why. But the key point, in my mind, is that it's here. It's there. It's something to be aware of. So I'm just kind of aware of it and figuring out how it's going to go in my life. Um, yeah. So that's really all I've got to say about that. Death Note was really super cool. Very interesting film. Definitely one of those like kind of heist films where it's like, okay, if this happened and this, happened, very like thinking type show. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Also, I think I met my soul dog. 
<clears throat> the place and the people I'm living with in San Diego, their dog, it's named Molly. And I don't know what it is, but something about it just connects. It's weird. If you, it's not weird, I guess, but it's just, it's very fascinating. If you've seen my Instagram, it's pretty crazy how like resonant we've been with each other. She's like chilling right now. So I don't know, something to put out there. The last thing that I will touch on, the last thing that I will mention to you guys is that this week's episode with Nick Zai is going to be crazy. Episode 50, we hit a milestone, guys. How cool is this? We have hit episode number 50. <sighs> so wild. So wild. And I am just so grateful for it. I mean, Nick, great guy. He's blown up on Instagram, so make sure you check him out. Follow me on Instagram. Follow him. And it's really... It's really a great a great podcast. I felt like it kind of started off a little a wonky. Like I was kind of in my head, I think, because, you know, I've seen this dude on Instagram and TikTok quite a bit. Super cool dude. And I've always kind of wanted to have him on. And so to actually have the opportunity to talk with him, I, I think it got in my head a little bit at the beginning, I'll be honest. But luckily, because, you know, I'm such a pro, <laughs> uh, I was able to save it. We are good. And I honestly think it's, you know, one of the best podcasts released to date. Uh, so get ready for that. And I have bacon burning. So I smell that right now. So with that being said, conscious monkeys, I will see you in the sixth dimension.